Okay, we are with Rick. Rick's been in for a few months. Actually, just get back going on his fourth month, I believe. Is that, is that right, Rick? Yes, it is, Dr. Lee. Great, thank you. And uh, I am thrilled to have you on the call today. Rick, how long have you been, have you been in practice? Um, as a financial advisor, Dr. Len, I've been doing this for 11 years. 11 years, great. And can you tell me, over the last 11 years or so, um, what have you done to market yourself, your practice, or your services? Well, it'll probably be more a question of what haven't I done. <laughs> um, okay. uh, I, I've used a variety of uh, seminars. I've used, uh, you know, tried to develop referral systems. I have used... Uh, direct invitations, uh, you know, to meet potential clients one-on-one -on -one, uh, for dinner or lunch. I've used um, appointment setting systems, so there isn't too much that I haven't tried. Excellent. Well, uh, obviously, uh, you need to be commended on your willingness to try to put marketing efforts in place to help you grow. And so with that said, uh, you, came around, you came upon our service, and I imagine something piqued your interest. So maybe tell me a little bit more about why you decided to join our service. Well, the thing that, that, that really got my attention was... Um, Frankly, the, your presentation and, and your whole approach to, um, to generating business for, uh, for professional financial advisors, um, it just struck me as, as different. You struck me as genuine and unique, and I figured, what the heck, I've spent so many thousand dollars in the past. You know, uh, the very, at the very uh, worst, it's a business expense I can write off. <laughs> okay. By the way, um, one of the reasons why I remember you said you wanted to join, in addition to, you know, this is the worst case scenario, was some of the results that you had produced in the past as a result of the other marketing efforts weren't really working, working the way they used to. Would you say that was an accurate statement? Oh, unquestionably. Okay, good. So you came on board. Uh, he decided <laughs> to give you a try, and so can you share with me and everybody a little bit about what's happened since you decided to join our service? Sure, I'd be happy to. Um, the biggest uh, problem is going to be uh, figuring out exactly where to start. <laughs> I, I can tell you that, um, number one, the folks that you've got working for you are very, very good. Thank you. They are thoroughly professional. They they got a mission that they obviously believe in, and they execute it very well. Thank you. Uh, you're quite welcome. Um, I, I probably have had about uh, seven or eight meetings so far, and I've got almost that many booked for the future. Um, in terms of actual dollars that I've generated, um, it's a little early for that. I do have... Uh, one client that a pair of CPAs sent me, a young uh, uh, university, uh, a pair of university educators, husband and wife, and um, you know I had uh, this was a was, this was a first appointment um, meeting, you know just 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 to to get to know uh, them and their practice and what I do, and we hit it off so well that they said well, we're going to send you so and so. Um, right away, great. And they did that. Uh, met with uh, met with these folks, and they are they are clients. So, if uh, based upon what I um, what I anticipate doing for them, that probably will be worth to me somewhere between ten and fifteen thousand dollars over the next twelve. Months. And that's fantastic. Not a bad way to start after your first few months. It's, right. That's not. Um, the other thing is on one of the. Um, one of the estate planners, this is a guy who is one of the three founders of a 60, 65 person um, high-end law firm. Hmm. Again, it was just one of these things where, where he and I hit it off beautifully. We've had lunch twice after the initial meeting. I have given him some insight into some of the things I can do for his high net worth clients. And number one, Dr. Land, he is going to become a client personally. Great. And secondly, we have also, I haven't communicated this to your gal, Teresa, yet, but he just agreed over the last week to set up a dinner with, uh, with himself, myself, the other two original partners, and six of their top clients. 
Wow. <laughs> so, so for me to say I'm pleased would be the wildest understatement you can imagine. <laughs> so when you say, just so I can get even more excited than I already am, when you say top, six big top clients, as biggest clients, I imagine we're talking in the millions here. Absolutely. Well, again, uh, thrilled to hear about it. You know, let me ask you a question that I, I don't have the chance to ask too many uh, of my VIP guest hosts that come on board. But you know, one of the things we went over uh, when you first got started is uh, is slash R your positioning statements. I know you said you were in the business as a financial advisor for the last eleven years. Do you feel that what you and I went over when you first came on board, we had that first conversation? Do you feel that that has empowered you to go in and have a more thorough, more complete conversation with these professionals and if the answer is yes do you feel like that that has helped you sort of endear yourself to these professionals uh, faster than if you didn't have those statements dr. Lynn that is absolutely 100% the case um, uh, for me at least um, it, it, it was it was very unique it was a very succinct way of presenting myself and what I do it was kind of like you know anticipating objections in advance and knocking them out of the way by you know by your your early words your your presentation um, you know I've felt calmer going into these meetings and it has worked marvelously great 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 fantastic well that that's, uh, makes me feel good and I'm thrilled to hear about it well listen you know I want to thank you for taking time out of your schedule uh, I've loved having you on board and I'm sure a lot of the financial advisors have uh, enjoyed listening to your story thus far listen is there anything that I didn't ask you or anything that you would have wanted me to ask you to share with everybody listening um, absolutely there is um, don't <laughs> don't think it can't work <laughs> there you go you know I mean don't, don't be uh, don't be so jaded or uh, or pessimistic by past endeavors not to give your service a try the people that you have working for you again I just have to say are first class it is it is a marvelous service well thank you I appreciate that and uh, we're thrilled to have the opportunity to work with and for you thanks so much have a great day you too sir take care